Hey guys, Mike here at MH Tutorials, and welcome back to part five in our short series on the modeling toolkit in Maya 2016. Okay, now today we're going to talk about the bevel option. Now, uh, the bevel option has been around for quite a while, and in 2016, Maya 2016, it has been added to the modeling toolkit as well. Uh, simply because the modeling toolkit contains uh, several options that are uh, nice to have in one place and uh, you know kind of handy when modeling all right so let's get started we're going to take a simple polygon cube we're going to hit r we're going to scale it out and in the traditional way you can right click and go to edge and then that will light up red as you move over it okay now what we're going to do is we're going to open the modeling toolkit so we're going to go up to this hammer and cube uh, button up here and this gives us this menu now, first of all, in this menu up here, if we select this cube, which is our object mode, if we now click on the cube, we have it selected in object mode. If we select on this one, which is for vertex, we can now select the vertices on the corners, like so. But we're going to go with this one, which is edges. Okay. Now, when you select that, as you hover over your object, you can see that that is, you know, highlighting it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on one of the edges and then we're going to shift and hold shift and click on the next one. And then we're going to scroll down to our bevel option, which is down here. And when we hit that, you kind of get the default bevel, which looks a little bit like this. And what you can do is go up to this little menu here and on fraction, we're going to left click and drag. And you can see that you can tweak the fraction. Okay. Now let's say we'll do something like this. Then we're going to go to the segment section. And if we left click and drag, you can add segments to kind of round that out like that. Okay. And with the auto fit, that's pretty cool. If we turn that off simply by clicking there, we get the roundness option. And if we left click and drag into a negative value, you kind of get this negative cutout, if you will which is, uh, I think, a pretty neat option. So, uh, yeah. Well, that's pretty much all there's to it. So, uh, good luck with that. If you have any questions, let me know, as always. And that said, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.